Welcome to our tutorial on Angular's NGFOR directive. We start by importing the component decorator from the Angular core library, which is essential for defining a new component. Next, we use the at component decorator to define our item list components metadata. The selector property is used to define the custom HTML tag this component will expose. In this case, it's app item list. The template property will hold our components HTML, which we'll discuss in a moment. Inside the template, we have an unordered list. We are using the asterisk ngfor directive on the Lee element to loop through each element in the items array. ngfor is Angular's built-in directive for rendering a list of items. Let's break down the asterisk ngfor directive. The asterisk, asterisk, is a syntactic sugar Angular uses to mark structural directives that shape or reshape the DOM structure by adding, removing, and manipulating the elements. Let item declares a local template variable named item which will hold the current item in the array for each iteration. The word of is followed by our array items, signaling that we wish to iterate over this collection. Inside each Lee, we use curly braces to bind the text content of the Lee to the value of item. This is known as interpolation. It's Angular's way of displaying dynamic content on the page. Finally, we define the TypeScript class for our component, called ItemListComponent. This class has a property items which is an array of strings. These are the values we're going to render with ngfor. This concludes our walkthrough of rendering a dynamic list using Angular's ngfor directive. Remember that NGFOR can also allow you track items with an index, handle empty lists with else conditions, and even group items with a template. But that's a topic for another day. Thanks for watching.